Here with Butler head soccer coach Adam Hunter after a one and one weekend in Iowa Western. Uh, first game, coach, you guys played against Iowa Western, and it went down to the wire. Yeah, it, uh, I think it went 90, 97 minutes. Um, you know, to be to be fair and give Iowa Western credit, they were probably a little bit better than us on the day. Created uh, a few more chances. Um, and I thought at the end, you know, they deserved to get the win. I mean, we were hoping to get a draw or, or, or get away with a win. It's always tough when you travel and, and to a ranked opponent and play them on their home field the same day of the travel. But, uh, you know, our goalkeeper, Ashley Dyer, did a great job keeping us in the game. Probably made, I would say, three saves that I thought were probably going to be in the goal, and she managed to keep them out. And, just wasn't able to keep one out there in the overtime, and uh, they got the 1 0 win. And, uh, you know, I don't fault our girls. After the game, I always ask the girls, you know, what were your thoughts? And, and I think that uh, one of our players said, you know, that they thought that they fought hard. And we did. You know, we, we played hard and uh, just weren't able to get away with the result. So after the loss on Friday, you guys turn around on Saturday. The game was supposed to start at 3 o'clock. They ended up pushing it back to a 6 o'clock start time. You guys turn around and get a win in that one. Yeah, you know, it, we were a little bit at the mercy of the weather, um, but uh, Iowa Western had a good backup plan, and we were able to move over to another facility, play on a turf field, a um, little bit later start. But we were okay because we were already in town. We, you know, we were at the hotel, um, so we, we were flexible to, to be able to do that. Uh, played Illinois Central, and, um, you know, some of the things that we didn't do good in, against Iowa Western, I just didn't think we were maybe direct enough or try to get in behind their defenders. Uh, and in the sec in the uh, Illinois Central game, our girls made the right adjustments. We had a meeting after the Iowa Western game the night before, and we came out and were really uh, imposing our will in the attack. Got a couple of early goals. We're up two one. They scored a late goal in the in the first half with I think literally three or four seconds left. Made it two one. We came out in the second half. Got two more goals. We're up four one. Um, and then they got a goal with like two minutes left in the game. Final score was four to two. Um, but in that game, we were able to create a lot of opportunities uh, and were able to to penetrate the other team's defense and get in behind them a little bit, which was which was really what was lacking against Iowa Western. So you know, to be able to go out and apply, you know, and learn from our our previous game, that was good to see that the girls were able to make those adjustments so quickly on a on a short turnaround. Okay, so now you guys are one and one. Um, turn around tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night. You guys are going to be facing Allen County in the new BG Products Stadium. Yeah, you know, um, I think first, you know, we get to play at home. Um, you know, we had the two preseason games, and then we're on the road for the the opening weekend, and now we finally get to play at home. Um, so we don't have to travel. Uh, but even more than that, I think. Uh, you know, everybody's excited. The community's excited. We're excited to, to open up the stadium and to get out there and, and just kind of, you know, play under the lights. Uh, you know, we're going to play five games still here on campus, and we're going to have five games um, at the stadium, and three of those are going to be under the lights, which is something that we've never been able to do in the history of the program is have night home games. So we're, we're looking forward to that energy and that enthusiasm from our kids, hopefully from the fans. Um, and open the conference season against Allen County. I, you know they've got they've got good numbers on their roster, um, which is something that uh, some of the programs in our conference battle with sometimes. It looks like they went out and got got themselves a good roster, and we just don't really know much about them because it's so early in the year. Um, we've had a pretty traditionally a pretty good success rate against them, and uh, to be honest, you know that's something we expect to try to continue tomorrow night. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you.